In this problem, we're given 4 fifths times x minus 7 equals 12. And we want to solve for x. So anytime we have a fraction that's being multiplied by everything on one side, uh, our first step would be to multiply by the reciprocal of that fraction uh, in order to try to isolate our variables. So if we have 4 fifths times x minus 7 equals 12, our first step would be to multiply both sides of our equation by the reciprocal of 4 fifths, which would be 5 fourths. Now what that does on the left hand side is it gets rid of this fraction. 5 fourths times 4 fifths is just 1. So we're left with x minus 7 on the left hand side and then 12 times 5 fourths. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. And this allows us to add 7 to both sides which solves for x because negative 7 plus 7 that ends up being 0, leaving us with x on the left-hand side. And 15 plus 7 equals 22 on the right-hand side. To check this, we simply substitute into our original equation. So 4 fifths times, we solve for x as being 22 minus 7. And we want to know, does that equal 12? 4 fifths times 22 minus 7 is going to be 15. And again, we're wanting to know, does that equal 12? 15 divided by 5 is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. So we do get that 12 equals 12. 12. So our solution checks and we can say that when we have 4 fifths times x minus 7 equals 12, our solution is x equals 22.